Hey everybody, it's Emily Francis. I promised you Emily's Energy Corner for All About Healing Radio Show today and I just recorded it and thought that it recorded and then when I came to watch the movie, it was not there. So I'm going to give you a little snippet of what we talked about and then I hope that you tune into the show and you hear it live in full. Um, next week's guest is Justin Grabenbauer. And he is, uh, he's living the dream, I have to tell you. He was living in corporate America, was living in New England, and started dealing with panic attacks and anxiety. But what he did was what everybody wishes that you could do. He packed up and left, and he's living in Ecuador now, and he's loving his life. And he's, he lives in a place with avocado trees that grow, and he's just very happy, and he made a lot of changes from his life. And I think a lot of us kind of wish and dream about that. So... Next week, you can live vicariously through him and be inspired by his story. So tune in next week, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And what we talked about today was about a continuation from last week about the parallel life. And what I talk about living a parallel life usually occurs when grief is part of your life, which everybody as an adult has gone through something that has changed the dynamic of who you are and you're always going to be changed because of that shift and for me I started living a parallel life because I didn't know how to deal with the grief after my dad died and I was young I was only 13 when he passed away and it was sudden and I didn't know how to deal with that kind of grief and so I I lived two separate realities of life for a very long time I lived the life that was present and that involved all the factual things that were in my life and then I lived a life of what if I wonder what my life would have been like if he was still here I wonder what things I would have done that I didn't do now because I'm such a chicken but I would have been brave because he was there and you live that life for as long as it takes or until somebody wakes you up and draws it to your attention and it's kind of like that movie sliding doors with Gwyneth Paltrow how everything was different just based on on timing so um the way that the reason that I had a defining moment in my life that changed the way that I lived was because I saw myself and somebody else. I uh, dated this person for a little while who had lost his dad as a teenager as well. And he lived in a serious parallel life. Every conversation almost was about what he would be doing if his dad hadn't died. He would have taken a scholarship. He would have gone to a different school. He would be a different guy. He would be so successful. Life would be so great if his dad didn't die. And by watching that all the time, I it finally dawned on me that that's me. You know, some people refer to that as the smoky mirror, that all relationships are a mirror and a reflection of ourself. And he was the biggest smoky mirror I had ever come across in my life. And it was my wake up moment in my life where I really sat down with myself and talked to me and, and tried to figure out what life I really wanted because I was tired of living a make-believe life and one that kind of sucked. And so I got myself together and I think of it like as a railroad track. You know, I finally got on one single track to move forward. And a few weeks ago on this show, we had Ashley Calloway on and I love her. And if you haven't listened to that show, might I suggest that you go back in the archives and, and listen to it. She does a whole lesson on forgiveness. And one of the things that she talks about is that in order to forgive, you have to accept the situation as it actually happened, not as the way that you rewrote it. Because no matter what, when things happen to us, we rewrite it in our history because it's ours. It's objective, really. But when you're going through a process of forgiving or of shifting and changing, you have to accept the situation as it happened. I thought that was a really <clears throat> profound thing to say. And I started to listen to it. But I started listening to it a few years ago, again, when I had that defining moment and realizing I cannot constantly live my life in the what-if zone. I just can't do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I started to change my life. And I made it something so much better. And I learned how to be grateful for really small things. And that built and built and built. And now I'm grateful for just a host of things all day, every day. If I can't sleep at night, I pray and give gratitude and talk about all the things that I love in my life because my life is spectacular. But it's not what life dealt me. It's not what life gave me. It's what I created and what I continue to create and what I want you to create. But <clears throat> I also want to really make it clear, though, that your grief is your grief. And nobody has any right to tell you how long you need to be down. Because 
grief takes you down and it makes you somebody else. And even if you feel like you're better, even if you feel like your life is better, it's not for a long time or ever because it's never going to be the same. So don't let anybody tell you how to manage through your grief unless they're a counselor, unless they're a counselor that you are seeking and you're getting help. Other than that, you know, you can have your friends give you their love and support, but the truth is that nobody has any right to tell you how to feel and how low you need to go because I know a lot of people, and myself included, that when we lost people that we love, it's really hard to get back up into your life. And that is perfectly okay for as long as you need it to be that way. But there is another part of life and it is really hard to do without these people. Really hard. But you still have your life path and you still have your life and I want you to try to make the best of it. But that doesn't mean I need you to do that today. It just means that your life is waiting for you. And they want you to be happy and they want you to have the best of everything that you can possibly have. And I want that for you and I want it for me. So that's really what I talked about. It, it was a little bit more eloquent, I think, in the radio show. But I'm still going to put up my videos and keep these going. And every week I'm going to post Emily's Energy Corner from the All About Healing show. And then you can go back and listen to the whole show in full with the different guests. But I really appreciate you being here. I, I want to continue to build this because we are all in this together and we all have every, every God-given right. It's our birthright to have the life that we create for ourselves and, and I want it to be something really special. So tune in next week or every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 11 a.m. Pacific Time to All About Healing. It's on HealthyLife.net. I'm Emily Francis. Thanks for being here and we will see you next week.